Hey everyone, all your science teachers here ready to help you learn how to calculate speed, distance, and time. This is Mrs. Brown. And Mrs. Boganwright. And Mr. Partridge. And <laughs> we're kind of figuring this out as we go along. So uh, the first thing that we wanted to talk to you about is the speed that we would use, or sorry, the formula that we would use in order to calculate the speed of an object. Whenever you're calculating the speed of an object, we need to need two things. We need the distance an object went per unit of time that, the ob that it took the object to go that particular distance. There's two words that you might see for the word speed. You might use, see the word speed or you might see the word rate. Uh, these two words are used interchangeably. They mean the same thing. One thing you always need to be aware of when you are talking about speed is you have to include the unit because the unit matters. A mile, a car traveling 65 miles per hour is very different than a car traveling 65 meters per second. The unit is extremely, extremely important, so don't forget that part. So here's a really easy way to use something that we call the DST triangle to manipulate the speed formula. Because sometimes we'll ask you for speed. Sometimes instead of saying what is the speed, they might ask you how fast did the object go. Sometimes they might ask you to find the distance, and they may not say distance, they might say how far did the object go, or the question might ask you to find the time it took the object to go that distance, in which case they may say the words how long or how much time did it take. Whenever you're using the DST triangle, all you got to do is cover up the letter that you want to find. It goes like this. If you want to find the speed of an object, cover up the S, and what we have left over is D over T, so the formula for speed is distance divided by time. If you want to find the dis distance that an object went, cover up the D, so what we have left over is speed times time. The formula for distance is speed times time. If you want to find the time, cover up the T, you have a D over S, so the formula for time is distance divided by speed. So now Mrs. Brown is going to take you through a sample problem where you are calculating one of those three variables. Okay, here we go. Lance Armstrong rode his bike for 25 hours without stopping. In that time, he went 400 miles and won the race. What was his speed? So, because we're looking for speed, we're going to circle or cover up what we are looking for and in this case we're looking for s which is speed what we have left then is d over t so we write out our formula s equals d over t which means d divided by t then we're going to substitute our numbers in for the letters so again write s equals D. Now what's the D? We'll look back up in the problem and it says that the race was 400 miles. So we want to put that in for D. 400 miles. MI is good for an abbreviation for miles. And then we draw the line to indicate divided by and on the bottom, we need to put in the time. So look back up in the problem again. And the time was 25 hours. So write 25 hours on the bottom as your denominator of your fraction. Now we have speed equals 400 miles divided by 25 hours. Then you need to do that mathematical operation and you would get... I guess Mrs. Bogenwright wants to do it longhand instead of pulling out a calculator. <laughs> so 400 divided by 25 would be 16. Now if we just leave the word, the number 16, technically that is incorrect because it doesn't have units. And remember we stressed how, important, how important the units were when we're talking about speed problems. So because the distance was given in miles and the time was given in hours, then our units are miles per hour. So here we have a second problem. 
Andrew drove from Las Vegas, Nevada to Riverside in a total of three hours. In his trip, he traveled at a constant speed of 90 miles an hour. Yeah, all right then. Through the uh, wonderful Riverside uh, Sheriff's Department and the Clark County Sheriff's Department, apparently he was able to accomplish this. And uh, wow, okay, so moving on. How far is it from Vegas to Riverside? <laughs> okay, so we are gonna try to find distance. So if we cross out distance. For the following teachers, please report to the downstairs class. Okay, so moving on. If we cross out distance, we're left with speed times time. Because distance equals speed times time. So if we take our blazingly fast speed, our illegalness of 90 miles an hour, and we're doing that for three straight hours, that gets us a total, because 90 times three gets us 270 miles, assuming no tickets or other such entertainment. That's an interesting zero. I'm doing this with my cursor, so, you know, hopefully you can read this and be entertained at the same time. Bam. Are you done, Mr. Partridge? I am, because we have an answer. All right. Well, yes, take... science teachers are so clever. Yeah, we are. Here we go. Robin, here's another problem. Robin is planning her trip to Disneyland. Woo. She knows that Disneyland is 400 miles away. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. But she doesn't want to speed, so she will go 65 miles per hour the whole way. How long will it take Robin to get to Disneyland? When I'm saying something something like how long did it take her, that means I'm trying to find the time. So cover up the time. So now the formula for time would be distance divided by speed. Plugging in my numbers just like we did before, the distance that Robin went to Disneyland would be 400 miles. And the speed that she's gonna be traveling is 65 miles per hour. I'm not gonna include the unit for the sake of time. If I do my math correctly, 400 divided by 65 is 6.15384615. We're just gonna go one decimal place and stop. 6.15, I can round up to 6.2. It will take Robin 6.2 hours to get to Disneyland. Whoa. Sorry about my circle there. I thought you were doing one of those Mickey Mouse ears, and then it kind of went sideways. So here's a quick review. So using the DST triangle is the easiest way to solve speed, distance, and time problems. Remember, you're going to cover up the letter that you're looking for, and what is left in the triangle is what you use for your math calculation. So you can see speed is distance divided by time. Distance is speed times time. And time is distance divided by speed. Hope this helps you guys. See you later. Bye. Later.